this is John from Day One Personal Training, and I'd like to continue our look at alternatives to your Tough Mudder training. Now, uh, the typical Tough Mudder training preparation program on the Tough Mudder website is interesting. Um, however, the movements that they relate to each obstacle uh, is a bit lacking. Um, some correlate somewhat, some have nothing to do with the obstacle whatsoever. So what we're going to do is give you guys a few options that you can use to insert or trade off for some of the movements that they have on the Tough Mudder website for the training preparations. For the following movement substitution, we're going to look at the boa constrictor obstacle of the Tough Mudder training event. Now, one look at the Tough Mudder training website and the preparation program within, and you'll find them pairing the boa constrictor obstacle with a push-up variation. Again, push-up. Nice exercise unto itself, but unfortunately doesn't specifically prepare us for the boa constrictor obstacle. And for those of you not familiar with the boa constrictor obstacle, basically what it is, is a very, very long, tight, constricted tube that you have to pass from one end to the other. Uh, and the main thing here with using a push-up uh, is that we're not doing any pushing per se to get us through the boa constrictor. Uh, it's a lot more pulling focused as opposed to pushing. That and the fact that it's very, very tight and especially if you're a larger individual, there's really no room to get up off your knees and up off your forearms. So you're really crawling through there, but it's more of a drag or a pull. It's not a push. So we're going to look at the knee push plank as an alternative movement for getting prepared for the bow constrictor. So start down on your knees legs together, sit back on your heels, you're going to lean forward in the quadruped position, find your forearms, okay, bring your rear back towards your heels again, and what we're going to do is we're going to pull through into a kneeling push-up, modified on the forearms, okay, so again, this is a pull, it's a pull into the core, it's got a lot more in common with a pull-up than it does with a push-up, okay, ground-based pull-up, so from Butt to heels, pull elbows tight into your core. As you stay low, push through, elbows come off the ground, hands come towards your shoulders, tailbone tucks under at the end as you exhale, engage your core. Spine is nice and long, tailbone's tucked under. Stay low and push back down, elbows to the ground pushing back, heels towards your butt. So, a uh, big key component down here is staying very, very low to the ground. What you don't want is that butt coming up where we have this big ballast heaving movement when we're coming up and down, staying very low. So think, staying within the boa constrictor, within the tube, or threading under barbed wire. Staying very, very low, engaging the core, pulling in, Right? as opposed to pushing out, which is what they would have us doing in training for this. So we're looking at a pulling motion. So again, one more time, kneeling, butt to heels, come forward in the quadruped, find your forearms, shoulders back and down, elbows tight, working in towards your ribs. You're gonna drive first from butt to heels, staying low as you pull forearms into your core, keeping your shoulders down, spine is long, elbows come off the ground, tight to your sides, tailbone tucks under at the end with an exhale, spines long, push back. For your knee, push plank.